multifunction insert drill. Right away, let's look at our drill. Here is our multifunction insert drill. This is our turning part of it. This is our drilling part of it. So between toggling here and there, here we set our shank diameter, our drilling diameter, flute length thing. Then we have uh, another setting for how much the distance on the front of the tool. Then big thing is the, the insert size. 0.475 then here we can change our tool nose radius then we have we can change our insert shapes 5 degrees or 0 degrees now we are square if I put my 5 back in and another 5 back here so this changes the insert shape. We have a back relief or we don't. Okay, we can set that. And then we have two different offsets, one for the drill and another one for the turning part of it. Okay, let's look at our operations, our drilling operation and our turning operation. The first one is our drilling. We're gonna do a feed in, in, feed in, wrap it out, feeds and speeds. Here we can, we are drilling a diameter of one inch with our 0.875 insert drill. So we're gonna do an offset of 0.065. We can set it to tool center or insert edge. If I do a redo, we see now that the tool edge in, uh, insert edge actually is showing us the one inch diameter or if I switch it back to tool center for the drilling we see our tool pass near the center line. Let's look at our turning operation. It's an ID, front ID operation, feeds and speeds, stock and then we set our machining markers as we normally do in our ID turning um, operations. Let's do a redo, make sure everything is fine. And now let's go and do a machine simulation. Here we have here our insert drill mounted in the tool. We wrapped it already over to the part. I want to slow it down. So we drilled it, now we do the ID turning and we are done.